What's up YouTube? Friends, family? How's everybody doing? I haven't been around. I've been uh, in San Diego. The boy graduated boot camp, which is awesome. So I've been down uh, watching him graduate and stuff. We just got back yesterday, the day before yesterday. I don't know. Anyways, uh, we're gonna do a restoration today. A little restoration. We have a it's like an adjustable wrench or monkey wrench. I don't know if this would be considered a monkey wrench or not. But we're gonna try this bad boy out. I don't know if I can get it apart. I'm gonna clean it up and see because I don't see a pin that goes through here. So, anyways, let me get set up and we'll get this underway. If you could, like, comment, subscribe. Click the subscribe thing down. I think it's down there. I don't know, somewhere. Anyways, normally I wouldn't clean this in the parts washer, but it has some grease pretty badly. Okay, we got her cleaned. Looks like there's some numbers. 443. There's some more stuff up here. Hmm. Co's wrench co something mass usa and i see if you look at the bottom that's how it comes apart but i don't think i'll be able to get that out without damaging it so we're just gonna clean it up the best we can i think i'm gonna go throw it in the oven to dry it off dry the wood out give her like you know maybe a half hour in the oven or something Otherwise, I'm going to have to wait a few days for that wood to dry after doing that. I did wash it off with water afterwards. I got most of the paint off the wood. Yeah. I would say to get it apart, this rivet would have to come out. And then you would have to pull this out. And then this whole handle would slide off. And that's how it would come apart. Um... I don't think I want to get into all that. These scales look fairly decent. I don't want to break them. So let's try it off, then we'll clean it up with the wire wheel and we'll go from there. Okay, so we're going to do a little wire brushing. See what she looks like. Okay, here's my dilemma. I'm trying to clean this up, but I don't want to take away the writing. So, it's pretty beat up. So, I think this is going to be more... It's not going to be a perfect restoration. It's just, we're going to make it look good. But you can see, this is pretty bad off. 
I got the top decent, but I would have to take off a lot of meat to get the rest like that. Okay, let me, uh, I don't know, let's wire brush it again, fine wire wheel, and we'll buff it. See what happens. Turned out pretty good. There's a lot of dings. I got it to polish up really good. It's shiny. But there's a lot of dings. And I wouldn't be able to get rid of those without taking it completely apart. And I honestly think this thing would be so sloppy once it was flat that it wouldn't work right. So I'm just going to leave it be like this. It says uh, made in USA under patents steel Coes C O E S wrench co Worcester Mass USA Hey, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Share the videos. Watch some other videos. There's a bunch on restorations. I'm restoring a Volkswagen Bug. Um, we're going to have some motorcycle videos coming up shortly, as soon as I get this Bug. This Bug more complete. Anyways, deuces. See you on the next one.